Welcome to the Lambda Gain Learning Center on CRAN. Chapter 3, CRAN. As seen in the last chapter, DRAN networks have issues with cost, wasted capacity, and inefficiency. For this reason, telecom companies have been looking for alternatives that can satisfy the increasing data demand. One of the most promising answers is the Centralized Radio Access Network, or CRAN. The main difference between CRAN and DRAN is in how the baseband units are configured. In DRAN, the BBUs are located at the bottom of each base station and act independently. However, in CRAN, the BBUs are stored further away in a central location where they can work together. While this configuration seems like a simple idea, CRAN alone can have a great impact in RAN efficiency. There are different levels of CRAN implementations. The simplest one congregates the BBUs in a central location, but keeps the dedicated connections between BBUs and base stations intact. In other words, it maintains one BBU to one base station relationship. This topology is similar to a typical DRAN installation. It offers savings in BBU maintenance, but still lacks efficiency. A more advanced configuration connects the centralized BBUs together into a BBU pool. This pool can use the power of many BBUs to supply several base stations at the same time, creating a many-to-many -many relationship. It is in this form that networks can truly profit of all advantages provided by CRAN. CRAN has several big advantages over DRAN. To start, CRAN is more efficient. In DRAN, each BBU is locked into serving only one base station, but CRAN allows a BBU pool to jointly process data for multiple base stations. This makes network processing power much more dynamic and allows more data to be processed by less equipment. To illustrate this argument, let's go back to the example of the sports stadium. In CRAN, a full stadium would receive complete allocation from the BBU pool to meet high demand. But once the event is finished and demand drops, the processing power of these BBUs can easily be allocated to other areas. The ability to redirect processing power allows the bandwidth to follow users wherever they go. The second advantage of CRAN is that it is less expensive to install, expand, maintain, and operate. Because of the ability to reallocate bandwidth, CRAN needs less equipment to manage the same amount of data as DRAN. This significantly reduces capital and operational costs. Consolidating the BBUs in a central location also shrinks the footprint of the base stations, lowering rental costs, particularly in large cities. Finally, CRAN has better administration and security. Centralization makes it easier to supervise and secure BBUs. This increases network safety and lowers the risk of malicious interference in the system. In addition, congregated BBUs allow for a frequency coordination between base stations. Since the RRHs are using the same BBUs for processing data, they can cooperate and share the same radio frequencies. In short, CRAN can significantly reduce installation and operational costs while improving efficiency, bandwidth, security, and scalability. So you are probably asking, what is the holdup? Despite all these advantages, there are still important challenges that must be met when centralizing the BBUs. In the next chapter, we will explore the challenges of CRAN, including distance limitations and protocol requirements. Thank you for watching the Lambda Gain Learning Center, and we'll see you next time.